Okay, so because this is exposed a little bit here, uh, I want that to actually kind of sit down inside the uh, belt. I don't want it, I don't really want the gap in between there because uh, I want this curved area to cradle inside the curved area of the belt. So I'm going to have to open these up a little bit using the same size quarter inch drill bit. And now because of that, um, I've got to use washers for these, so... Just trying to test that first. So the detonator will sit like that on the belt. But uh, like I said, I'm just doing a test fit on that um, so before you actually mount it in place. You need to put the end caps on. I actually want to move that over just a tad bit, open that up. So, on these, um, since you need to grind it down to be round, I figured this is the time that you can just go ahead and score a little more of these corners off so you're not spending so much time sanding it round. Just do some of the uh, score and snap technique. That's going to save you almost 10 minutes right there of just grinding that down. Depends on if you're using a Dremel or a belt sander, obviously, just a few seconds on a belt sander, but it does save time. Alright, so now you've got those glued in place and you know everything fits well, um, I'm going to put some CA glue, turn these upside down, make sure nothing's inside the tube. The last thing you want is a tube that rattles around with uh, some scraps of plastic in there or something. Okay, just kind of some CA glue down around that. Okay, make sure it's clean and just compress that down in there. A little bit thicker. Okay, and then the other side. Again, anytime you're working with CA, you should be using gloves. Sorry, I don't have gloves on for this video demonstration here. And then, uh, place some of the uh, zip kicker to put that one in place. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to be grinding it down just to this lip right here. You take your pencil, make sure you can clearly see that, both sides. You can use a Dremel wheel, you can use a belt sander, whatever tool you're more comfortable with. The idea is so that this edge and that edge is flush, there shouldn't be any uh, noticeable, noticeable uh, lip to, to this end cap to, from the tube. Um, so that's it. I'm going to sand this down on a belt sander and then I'll show you what it looks like after that. But I'm going to wait till this uh, CA glue kicks and uh, cures a little bit more before I attempt to put it on a sander.